Halloween is upon us and this just hit my doorstep. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Hi there everybody, welcome to the channel, I'm Mr. Tarask and this is my impromptu table which is totally not wiggly in any way, I just need this kind of table when I do an unboxing because I need something to put the stuff on that I get out of the box and today I want to do a roll morgue which is a box that looks pretty damn freaking awesome that landed on my doorstep I think it's like one or two weeks ago together with some other books including uh, Rise of the Draw which is right there, the shiny Rise of the Draw special edition was in the box, there was some other stuff in the box and I just want to uh, open this up this is from a Kickstarter that I talked about way back on my channel and it's uh, well it got fulfilled and it got on people's doorsteps and it really looks freaking awesome like the artwork and everything and just the way it looks it looks like really that old school horror type of undead stuff you find in like those typical board games or maybe even like video games so I want to open this up and kind of talk about what this is in general, this is not at all a review. Normally, I would do it like first, like do a review of this or whatever. It's just that um, I there's just a lot of stuff in this box. So I first wanted to do a video where I talk about like everything that is in the box. And I always love, and this happens to me every time, when I undo the plastic wrapper from a box, for some reason, the art looks even better better so discover secrets of the past and bring life back to the land that's basically what it says so this is an adventure they say starting from levels uh four to seven and concluding at levels eight to eleven depending on what the players do basically there's this land that was full of life and everything but then uh what they call uh, the water clock or what do they call it asian side ruins and wondrous uh water clock is uh stagnant so it stopped doing its thing and it stopped bringing life to the land and now the land is full of undead and it's full of death and decay and there's a lot of bad stuff happening and it is up to the players to kind of figure out why the water clock stopped that's basically the main general premise of whatever this is so it's a campaign, it is a book, it is an adventure. Uh, they say it is from Rise of the Draw author Jonathan G. Nelson. So if you like Rise of the Draw, and most people do, uh, it's the same writer. Play styles for all player type, uh, wasteland archaeology, uh, travel through time and become priests in the past. I'm not shitting you, that's literally what they say right here. Uh, there's a new 5e mechanic, flow and stagnation. Uh, there's a hardcore mode, so 5e on steroids or whatever. Unique monsters, magic items, uh, nightmarish bosses, uh, section summarize important information, player handouts, new language, riddles and cues, and all of that stuff is in here. So I'm just going to open it up. It is a cardboard box. A cardboard box, right? So, ooh, oh shit, I didn't see it. This is the, what is it? Is this the water clock? This is the water clock, I think. It is, this is really cool. Oh, it's probably to roll dice in or something. And maybe, I think this is actually used in the game itself, but I could be completely, utterly, totally wrong. So that is, uh, so now I have this and there are some uh, characters here. Uh, which is pretty cool. Probably, probably some NPCs and some important characters on this side, and then there is the same characters on this side. I really like how you only see this stuff when you open it up, and suddenly there's more stuff on the side. I really like that. And there are uh, two sets of dice. Ooh, really heavy. Uh, sets of dice in here: a green one and a blue one. And um, I have to go back. To my video I did on this when it was still a Kickstarter, but to know for sure what these things are, but this is uh, something to do with like the new game mechanic uh, they introduced, but I think it's really cool uh, to use as tokens for different things. You can maybe use this for if somebody is poisoned, you can give them like one of these green thingies, like even if you don't use this for the adventure it is for or whatever, I will go deeper into that like in my review. I like this kind of stuff to just put on the table because they're pretty heavy they're pretty high quality thingies i didn't expect that i expected like this board game quality but i'm really then there is this uh green set of dice which on camera doesn't look as good as in real life on camera they look a little bit 
dull if I'm not uh, if I'm being honest uh, but in real life look pretty pretty freaking damn cool there's more there's d20 there's 40 there's 2 d20 40 sixes and then all the other die there's the hundreds uh, with like the tens and the hundred with like the the, 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 the the normal numbers, I don't know the English term for that. So there's 46s and 2d20. So that's a big set of dice you get in the box of Rolled Mork. Pretty damn cool, right? I know my camera um, isn't in like the perfect thing. So there's the same thing, but in blue. I really like these as well. These shine even more than the green ones. Let me just take one out. So these are, as you can see on an, a, a, on camera, they even look good, but in real life they look even better. They're really nice sets of dice, really. So okay, then there's more stuff, right? What else is there? Holy shit! What is all this? What is all this? Wow, this is. I don't. What the. F Okay, okay. Okay, let me just first take out this. Wow. Wow. I, wow, this is really, really nice. Look at this freaking cover. Wow. The adventurers... Uh, Investigate a solitary solitary spire of stone in the barren mountains wasteland. According to legend, water once sprung forth from this spire, blessing the land with life. Now the land is dry, and the ancient site, uh, the ancient site in ruins, and the wondrous water clock is stagnant. This stagnation infuses all beings, from the strange cultist to the surface to the form of the surf uh, cultist on the surface to the former elemental guardians deep below. It is up to the adventurers to defeat the ancient evils within Roldmark, restore the water clock and bring back life to the land i really 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 love this cover i really do oh my god that's, that's really something else man oh shit i didn't expect that like for this it was like more giving me like this board game video gamey vibe and then suddenly they put a book in here that's completely different in terms of art and it just looks like a book you can freaking buy in a bookstore or like a really i don't know it even has like you can even feel everything that's on here so it's really i don't know i'm maybe putting too much uh emphasis on all of that stuff uh there is a book in here there's the entire adventure so it is an adventure and it is full of uh here are the tokens by the way so there's blue ones and green ones um so you have the flow tokens and you have the stagnation tokens. Depending on what is happening to your character or whatever, you get flow tokens and stagnation tokens. Depending on like, if I'm not saying like the water clock has like this power to, to, to stop everything or when the water clock is flowing, everything flows, right? So you have different powers and different effects uh, depending on that. So you have different monsters, again, within the same thing. There's flow and uh, stagnation, green and, and blue. There is the entire beast cherry here. Um, there is the cover thingy again. There is just a lot of great art in here. So I really, really, really like the looks of this. I really do. I know I'm rambling, but that's this kind of video. It's a Friday and I'm just opening stuff up right there is tokens. On that. Um, a weird like little chicken in coming from a, from an egg, but you're like, oh, that's a small little uh, chicken. But then you see that there's a humanoid here. So that's how big chicken is. There's creepy little crawlers here, which is pretty cool. There's a bunch more stuff here. Uh, I think these are NPCs. I'm not sure. There's an undead like skeleton guard right here. Uh, more of these. So probably hordes of these will probably uh, pop up at some point in the campaign. Um, again, there's a monster that has a flow 
version and a stagnation or whatever you call that version. So there's a green version and the blue version. Uh, that's a mechanic I need to look deeper into for my review of this. And those are the tokens. So you get for, for now, we have two sets of dice. I'll put this here. So there's, you can see this, there's a set of dice here and then there's my loose set of dice that's probably gonna fall to the floor and I will have to pick up later. So there's more, two sets of dice. There's a bunch of uh, these, kind, these tokens to put on your table. There is a really cool looking book and then there's a bunch of crap that I don't know what it is. Oh, oh cool, pre-made characters. I love it when they do that. I know I'm the I I I know I've been playing like D and D for for like twenty years or something like that. Um, I really like pre made characters. I'm the kind of guy that just likes to sit down and like, where's my character? Give me a character. Okay, who am I? I am uh, Yem Jemmy or whatever you. Will. I'm Wolk. I am Wolk, and this is Wolk, and I'm a half orc priest of Vasi. Okay, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Okay, let's role play. And I just start role playing the character I'm giving. I do that a lot of times when I do like one shots or short form campaigns or somebody invites me to a game and I'm like, uh, I don't feel like I'm really creating a character. Just give just give me one and uh, I'll, I'll give them a name myself and boom, I'm going. I really like, I, maybe these are for like a part of the campaign only. So uh, I'm now seeing that these are actually the people that are on the side right here, right? So this dude with the glasses, this black dude with the glasses is right here, okay? So you can see that, so that makes sense. Um, they really figured out how to like brand this stuff. Everything belongs to each other. There's a half F priest. There is a oh, they talk about like going back in time and become a priest of the past. So these are all priests of Vasi. These are all priests, all with their own set of strengths and probably weaknesses. And it's just an average human person. Um yeah, cool. And then there is this stuff. I don't know exactly what this is supposed to be, but it has like this dotted line right here, which is probably meant to like fold or cut. I don't know. I have no idea. I'll look into this for a review, right? So I don't know. I don't know why this would be what it is. It's just like a little pamphlet you give. A player handout just to set like the tone of the adventure. What is this? Like, oh, this is the door I want to show you, but uh, I want to talk about it. But here I can show you. This is probably a, a player handout with like uh, the entrance into Mordor. Speak friend and you may enter. Um, more player handouts. Oh, this is cool. There's an environment with like. Oh, there's life, uh, there's water, there's everything. And then the other side is like, nope, death and decay. Ha, cool. Uh, there's maps in here you can use for like ruins. And then there is this entrance, which is probably uh, into like the dungeon day. Look at this. This is like concept art you can give to your players to give them a sense of how the environment looks. I really like, I like this kind of stuff. Like this is not detailed in a sense that, oh, this is exactly there and this is exactly there and this is exactly there. But it gives you a very good vibe of what it is supposed to feel like, what the environment is supposed to feel like. So there's a bunch of player handouts here. There's a bunch of like character pro portraits here. There is uh, NPC portraits, I think these are. I could be completely and totally and utterly wrong about what this exactly is, but I like the arts. And I think most of this are like player handouts. There's a person, I think they're doing like something to this person. Like, I don't know, an exorcism or something like that. <laughs> anyway, so uh, there's more dungeon stuff in here. And that's basically it. There's a riddle. Oh, that's cool. There's a, like the secret language riddle kind of thing. Man, this doesn't stop. More art. Yeah, anyway, more art, more art, more stuff. 
to give to your players, player handouts, maps, all of that stuff. I really like this. Uh, I don't know why, because I don't know exactly what it is yet. I've yet to review this. I just wanted to open this up with you guys, because it is something you can actually open up. Normally, I get a book, and I just open the book, and then I start reading it, and then I review it. But this was just a little bit more than a book, so I was like, yeah, what's inside? Let's just hit the record button. So there's a bunch of crap you can give to your players, like art and stuff really really cool art really cool stuff there are pre-made characters i think it is for the time travel section in the adventure i'm not sure correct me if i'm wrong if you're playing this adventure by the way if you're playing this event this adventure let me know what you think of, of it uh there is an insanely cool looking book the, the book itself basically which if i only had gotten this book i wouldn't have been doing this unboxing i would just open this book there is more 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 tokens Pretty cool, ain't it? There's dice, which I'm not picking up right now because they will drop to the floor, all in a very cool looking box.